Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very special guest to help us out with this very next special announcement. It is a Tyne Newman, who was a, a former Brick employee for some time, the Shades production manager for many, many years. Please give a round of applause for Tyne Newman. Woo! I'll read these with her. She's here. All right. So as Tyne uh, makes her way to the stage, Tyne! How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? You look so amazing. Uh, thank you. So do you. You're yeah. a cop now, right? Look at this new song. I know, right? Yes, yes, I am. Um, oh I know. Gosh, I'm new. about to. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it down, y'all. Keep it real. Uh, Keep it cool. How are you? Officer oh. Newman will get on you. Oh. All right. So. What uh, Tyne is here to help me out with is Tyne, these are the fabulous people that have been what we consider pioneers of Brooklyn free speech. Those are the producers who have been with us since the late 1900s and are still with us today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long list, so we need some extra support oh. here. Tyne, we're just going to go every other long. person, all right? Okay, okay. Here we go. We'll skip the show okay. titles because it's only a two hours that we have in the space. Okay, really? All right, so I'll start. Okay. All right, our first is Andrew Guidon. Yes. Aretha Wade. Mm -hmm. Bernice Boom Boom Brooks. Bruce Friedman. Lloyd Baird. Christopher DePetisa. That's close. Yes. Okay. Denise Sutton. <laughs> Who is this? Keisha Kumba. Oh, for Keisha Kumba, yeah. Combo. For Keisha Kumba. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she'll call me. Diane Smith Polanco. Who is this last one? Uh, Frank Facanti. Do you see where we are? Yeah, let All me right, see. All right, it's right here. All right, okay. Here Fatima Resor. All right. Gay Papaz. Brooklyn Bread. Yes, that's his show. And Glendora, who runs a chat with Glendora. She's been around forever in the day. And my girl, Gloria Chestnut. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Jacob Bimblich. James Glenn. Jose Francis. Kesh Ooh, nice. Kenshasha Shabaka. Larry White. Lottie Shannon. Martin Nyberg. Another one of my old timers, Maurice Carver. Woo! Michael Howard. Neil Albert. Neil LeBacalum. <laughs> Orville Nelson. Ruth Morrison. Sabrina. What's her last name? Amofa. Amofa. Uh, Sophia Sievright. Samuel Villanova. Stella Winston. <laughs> and last but not least, Walter Carabello. Yeah, well Aww. done, Tom. Good Thank job. you for seeing you. Nice seeing you, too. Oh, miss you guys. Yeah. Don't let me see you out there tonight. <laughs> Take care. When I patted her, she had a taser in the back. I could feel it. She will take you down. Yeah, y'all, if nothing else, tonight we're celebrating free speech in a place where every community can define itself. Everyday spoken word performers are breaking new ground in self-expression. Next, we have a performance from a Brooklyn spoken word performer, Kelly Tsai. Miss Tsai is an amazing artist whose work challenges what we assume about ourselves and others. Please enjoy. Enjoy. What's up, Brooklyn? How's everybody feeling? Woo, I need a little bit more. How's everybody feeling tonight? Hey, hey, hey. When I say we speak, you, respe you repeat after me. We speak, we speak. With, the intention with the intention of being heard. Of being heard. One more time. We speak with the intention of being heard. All right, is everybody having a good time tonight? No, I said, is everybody having a good time tonight? Yeah, that's more like it, Brooklyn. Everyone's looking beautiful. Let's give it up one more time for all the amazing honorees tonight. In the spirit of culture, a community of media and creation, I feel so blessed to be here um, and perform for you all tonight. Um, this first piece that I'm going to do for you is a piece I actually got to perform at the White House, but this piece um, really focuses on what if human beings were able to put all of our creative energies towards positive things as opposed to destructive things, how different our world would be. So give it up for that in the spirit of creativity and what Brick Arts and Media stands for. Um, so this piece is called Weapons of Mass Creation. What if we had weapons of mass 
creation. Nestled in secret safe houses in nooks and crannies across the globe, we could get some of those MIT scientists to tinker away on the sly, build us some biological chemical nuclear gadgets to indiscriminately birth, capacitate, heal, ignite life teeming with one click of a red button. Juicy slugs sliding down stop signs, green velvety grass crushing through cracked concrete, loaves of braided bread materializing in mailboxes, a song bubbling in every throat, an absence filled in every hand, clothes ballooning, buttons popping, a woman swinging her full beautiful hips, unafraid as the sweat rolls off her nose, weapons of mass creation to explode babies onto every street corner, huge blinking eyes, curious chubby fingers, waves of baby fat toddling through open windows, girdling us a new wisdom. Weapons of mass creation to pour foundations for schools, libraries, and clinics on lots that have been left vacant for years. To zap money from the coffers of war. Trade thousands of days of combat for four million new homes or seven million new teachers, or 200 million children's health insured weapons of mass creation to train ourselves to become the champions of community and home. Learn yet how to stand and embrace the entire globe to figure out more fantastic ways to live instead of die, dissolving on contact the welling ache within each human heart. Lifting all burdens carried with both hands overhead to erase all shadows ever burnt onto the ground. Twist knots in every gun. Make each bullet bird seed. Let these flocks carry away our knives between their claws. Let them trap our screaming between their beaks. And as they fly, usher us into a new age of joy and laughter, hair, Skin, teeth, nails, growing at a luscious, rapid pace, rippling across billions as we dig our toes deep into moist, crystal black, fertile soil. Thank you all so much, Brooklyn. Um, and so I'm very happy to share that we're actually going to screen one of my spoken word videos right now. Um, and very much like the spirit of many of the community producers here, and make some noise one more time for all the community producers here. It is hard work. It's hard work putting these videos together. Um, and so this piece I wrote um, after I was commissioned to work on this piece where we were thinking about race, gia, race, gender, media, and the other. And I was so sick and tired of thinking of myself of outside of mainstream media. I thought I would love to be the center of everything in the universe just for a day. Um, and so I wrote this piece and I worked with a great production team here in New York. This piece is actually an interactive 360 degree video. So when you watch it online, you can take your mouse and scroll all the way around. And you can actually scroll all the way around on your phone if you download an app that goes with it. If you check out the program, I think my website is in there, you can find it there. Um, but you will see it tonight and our wonderful tech people will be scrolling around for you. So without further ado, um, self-centered, and thank you so much for having me tonight. was the center of everything for a day. Everything would be aimed towards, dictated by, catered to, tailored for, five foot two tattooed Asian females. When you turned on the television, no Martha Stewart, Tom Brokaw, Katie Couric, or Stephen Colbert. Just five foot two tattooed Asian females giving makeup tips for the Asian eye. Instructions on how to raise children multilingually in America. Advertisements for custom designed builders who retrofit houses for the fabulously petite. News that tells of the latest community organ organizing campaigns and where the hottest DJ set is for that night. Everything catered to me. All of the movies would tell the stories of wayward, liberated, activist, brainiac, single girls and our loserish MC boyfriends. Healing wounds with family members overseas while fighting for fair wages for factory workers around the world, which would be easy. 
Since all of the governments would be run by five foot two tattooed Asian females, we'd wave to the cameras enthusiastically, give out free sandwiches to the entire world every Wednesday. We'd match our lip gloss to our fair trade boots and throw a dance party every time we signed a truly revolutionary bill. I'd get to ask the people dumb questions all day. Cause isn't everybody a five foot two tattooed Asian female? And isn't it so great to be us? But you know what? I might let you non five foot two, non tattoo, non Asian, non females. I might let you access to education and health care too. I might even share the airwaves and our houses of government. Give you a shot at working your way up in our financial institutions because I know that there is no you without me. And from the only to the other, I know there's no me without you.